What's up, guys? Crabmaster Zach here. We got a new video for you. I have been cooking up a tier list of all of the Mad Magazine artists, the ones I'm familiar with, or contributors. We're going to be ranking them. It's going to be fun. Uh, you might be wondering, I'm in a different place. This is my friend's studio, 19 Stars recording if you ever need re to record a band or something hit them up um we're going to be looking at mad magazine artists we got this super fancy setup and i've been looking at the peaks and the valleys and you and you know some people they don't want peaks I'm peeking it out. I'm going to get some peaks in here. Uh, that's the kind of quality recording you can get at this studio. Because you can get it as loud as you want the microphone to go. And it will still sound good. But I, I'll, I'll try and keep it in this range. Um, you want peaks. You want peaks. But you also want, you want parts that are quiet. You want it to... Just be a little, a little silent. Not too quiet, though. You know, you ever get, your car is too quiet, and you get in an accident because you can't hear anything? Anyway, we're going to be looking at these wacky guys, the usual gang of idiots. Uh, we're going to be ranking them. Um, you can see who we got here. Oh. Oh, who is that? Who is that? Who should we start with? Who should we pick first? In the last video, we had a tier where it was the, the danger room from the X-Men, but it was filled with saw traps, and that person would be tortured with saw traps for eternity this one we're going to be putting them in a room with alfred e. newman we're going to we're going to be putting them in a room with uh, one of the wackiest guys of all time because i think in reviewing mad magazine contributors and ranking them their level of nuttiness is very important so we're going to be making the <laughs> making sure that the wackiest guys get to the top uh but if they're not wacky enough i think they need to be put in a room with that that madman all right so let's start it off with al jaffe al jaffe is a great cartoonist very versatile can do a lot of a lot of different styles um he did the foldins which are some of the best that's the that's one of the best parts of a mad magazine and it's so consistent every issue um they're great paintings and they're very satirical they're very funny i would say that's that's a top tier thing. And then he had this segment, snappy answers to stupid questions. It was very snarky. The art was pretty straightforward, but it's good cartooning. Um, I think he's an exemplary mad artist, but he's not one of my favorites. When I was a kid reading Mad Magazine and I read snappy answers to stupid questions, I thought... I thought he was being kind of mean. I thought they were being a little rude, and I didn't fuck with that. I might be a rude, crude dude now, but then I wasn't fucking with that. So, let's put him in the B. I, I, he's he's going to stay in the B tier. Next, we got Antonio Parias, uh, Cuban artist of note he created spy versus spy which i've read a lot of spy versus spy and 
the main problem is it kind of gets uninspired after a bit and it seems repetitive there and there's a lot of convoluted strips and they didn't really make a sense to me as a kid and they still don't but i think spy versus spy is also a heavy hitter but you know what else what else is he doing you know i think antonio parias he can get, let's give him a C. Getting some controversial takes out of the way first. All right, next we're going to go with the guy that looks so funny. I had to put one of his illustrations and a, a picture of him on the screen. And that is Basil Wolverine. I mean, just look at this guy. He's super Christian um, his entire career, but he drew the most insane, the nuttiest, the wackiest stuff. Just, I mean, just look at that, that lady. That's so fucking nuts. Um, I think his comics, I don't think that he has a lot of comic. he had a lot of comics in Mad. He mostly just did those illustrations, but... Those illustrations are so iconic and so good. I I think Bessel Wolverton deserves the A tier. Who's up next? Who wants a bite? Paul Coker. Paul Coker is alright. He has good cartooning. Um, but his bits, I, they're not very memorable. He, he's not wacky enough for me. And that's all I gotta say about it. Because... I really don't know too much. Maybe I need to read some more, but... Sorry, Paul. You're going to be tormented with that red-headed little freak. For a while. Alright, let's get going with Don Martin. Don Martin is one of my favorite all-time Mad Magazine artists... I've read a lot of Don Martin, and there's a lot of stinkers, but there's also a lot of gold. His cartooning is very out of this world and schizophrenic, I think, is the best way to put it at some points. There's an image of a guy in a straight jacket that is like burned into my brain, um, and he had a lot of those little books. Those mad digests. I mean, his imagery is iconic to mad to me. I think he's the goat. I think Don Martin should get A tier. We got some other guys that are coming for S tier. No one's on S tier list. Let's see what happens next. Uh, another guy that had a lot of those l little books. The lighter side. Is Dave Berg. Um, look, I'm not afraid of controversy. Dave Berg sucks. Uh, too many words. When you're reading the lighter side, it's like it's too wordy and it's too it, national lampoony. It's boring. I fuck the National Lampoon. I want Mad Magazine. I don't want all the Harvard assholes making my comedy. I want insane people like Basil Wharton making my fucking comics. Anyway, Dave Berg's lighter side is uh, one of the most boring pieces of garbage I've ever read. It's kind of self-bio with like some self-insert type humor. And like daily life relatable kind of stuff. And it's not for me, I guess. Uh, too many words, Dave. You're going to be stuck in a room with Alfred E. Newman, and he's going to come in and tickle you. 
He's going to tickle you mad. He's going to tickle you silly. He's going to put some fucking fun in your brain for once and give you a little lobotomy to help swirl it all around. Get it started. Get it going. The party don't stop. The people are pumping. You, f- you understand that? Do you understand that? Dave Berg. If I saw Dave Berg in real life, I'd spin kick him in the head. I'm just kidding. That's a joke. I, I wouldn't do that. Um, I'm also assuming... <laughs> I'm also assuming he's dead. So, let's go with the next guy. How about Will Elder? You know, he's one of the OGs. He's been there a while. He was there for a while. He's de- he's also dead. A lot of these a lot of these guys are dead, which sucks. Because they could be making more Mad Magazine. That's probably why they went out of business. Because they didn't have Will Elder around in 2004. In 2011 when they were making Alfred E. Newman's head out of the Angry Birds. <laughs> he, they were, he wasn't there then. I think there's a Pete Bag in there. If you want to find it. I have it. I've had it since I was 11 years old. Anyway, Will Elder is great. Chicken fat. Every inch, it's got something going on. The comics are amazing. Um, He's easily S-tier. Next, we're going to be looking at Duck Edwing. Um... Duck Edwing is a cartoonist I need to read more of. I I don't know. I don't really know much too but about Duck. But what I've seen it's good. Um it's not crazy. It's not the best, but I like it. It's it's funny. Uh I think that's the best you can be. So he's going to be at B. So we're going to be looking at Someone who's a little controversial. Someone who I would say is on the same level of R. Crumb of uh, infamy, uh, shall I say, with um, provocative sexual imagery, especially in Hollywood's later career. Um, you know, he was a machine for science fiction comics illustration. Uh, he has such an amazing style. Um, he's one of the best. He only did tales calculated to drive you mad. Bollywood's Mad Magazine comics are very funny. Um, the illustration is just amazing. Uh, electrifying is a word I could use for that. And uh, I think I could put him... I think wa- is Wallywood S-tier? I think so. I think that's going to track. I'm kind of thinking about putting Basil Wolverton in S tier. I think him as a person and what um, his drawings look like are two different things. And his drawings are a little bit more insane than what he looks like. But um, next up we got a good looking fella. We got Harvey Kurtzman. Uh, Without Kurtzman, there would be no Mad. His art is very stylistic and original and straight to the point, effective storytelling in comics. Um, He knew how to tell a story really well and he knew how to drive the ship to make Mad and change culture forever. I think Harvey Kurtzman deserves to get S tier. I yeah, I think Basil Wolverton is still going to stay in A tier. Next up we got someone who's made a lot. And is another one of those 
contributions that uh, is super iconic. And if you've read any issue of Mad, you've probably seen his work in it. Um, we got Sergio Aragones. Dude's a beast. He can draw so fast. Um, constantly putting out stuff. Uh, a mad look at mad look at stuff is always very funny. Good satire, uh, biting culture. Um, there's a lot of misses in there, though. I will say sometimes you know every week you can't clock in and put a hundred ten hundred and ten percent in the writing department, but. I think that the margin strips, the margin doodles, it's so fun. Makes me smile every time. It's it's just a little thing that's in there. Um, who would have thought to put those in there but him? Uh, so I think he, uh, he's he got to get S tier too. I think I'm putting too many people in S tier. I think Wally would. Yeah, Wally Wood is A tier. Uh, we got Jack Davis next. Jack Davis, another one of the OGs, um, and one of the EC guys. I mean, he friggin' invented the Crypt Keeper. He friggin' drew that up from his brain. And I think his comics are very easy to read um and they're filled with a lot of stuff um i think jack davis is probably s tier we'll go with s tier for jack davis he deserves it i think um i'm a, i'm no expert but i think he probably deserves s tier next we got i'll go norman mingo um all I really know about Norman Mingo is the paintings of Alfred E. Newman, which I lo love. They're so iconic. They're great. Um, but other than that, I don't really know what else he's done. So I'm going to put him in the B tier. Sorry, Norman. Um... I mean, I guess next we'll go with Drew Friedman. Drew Friedman has some amazing comics and publications uh, that are not mad. When I think of Drew Friedman and Mad, I think of the illustrations. Raw Magazine has amazing Drew Friedman comics and uh, stuff like that. But I think for Mad, he was he, he went on later in his career. Um, and that was like in the early 2000s, like the 90s. Um, I could be wrong. I'm I'm not gonna fact check this. Uh, if I'm wrong, just I don't know. You can bully me in the comments. But um, these illustrations are great. I think. But I I think he's in the B tier too. Not a lot of people in the C tier. Maybe I. You know what? Fuck. You know what? I think Duck Edwin can go in C tier. And I know Al Jaffe's B. Norman Mingo can go in B C tier. Um, actually, no. I think Norman Mingo goes in B tier. Drew Friedman goes in C tier. Norman Mingo is more iconic than Drew Drew Friedman. Uh, now we got Mort Drucker, another iconic artist. When you think of mad artists. I think he's probably the number one to come to mind. He did all the parodies, um, which, to be honest, the mad parodies have... I have the same problem with them that I have with the lighter side is that they're too wordy. I'm so sorry, Mort Drucker. You're going to be put into the room with Alfred e. Newman. Um, you were on the cusp, but I think you deserve it. I think... I think the parodies need to change up a little bit. Um, I think Alfred E. Newman needs to get in there and take some cold processed ham and just rub it all over your body. Get that wackiness out of there a little bit. Get that crazy out. That's what you need, Mort.
now we have Bill Gaines, who wasn't an artist for Mad, but was a big contributor. So I'm just going to put him in B because I'm done. And we can get out of here. And I can say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it so much. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out 19 Stars Recording in Chesterton, Indiana. Leave a comment below and tell me what you thought of the list and who you would put in the S tier and who you would want to put in a room with Alfred e. Newman. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And the Crap Master loves you. Bye.